This is going to be a fun episode. This is going to be my first time going through the KEJ-Tronic fuel distributor system. I'm going to take it apart, reseal it with uh, all the parts from missingparts.de. Um, so, you know, this is probably, most likely, it's never been opened before. 30-year-old seals, not compatible with ethanol fuels. So we're going to go through this entire unit and get it ready. So first of all, what I want to do is take off this rubber boot from the upper plenum here so I can clean it separately. I don't want this to be getting soaked in solvent. Solvent is not good for rubber. Should be able to pop this bottom piece off just like that. A little potentiometer here. Two little o-rings pay attention so the one thing i didn't show on camera to pull this actual distributor off of that uh air unit there's just three bolts in here t25 you pull those off and this whole deal comes off one two three four five six seven eight and notice there's these two O-rings here. We need to know the distance of the surface of the uh, adjuster here and the edge of the large housing nut. So this one is almost flush. 0 0.48 millimeter. to screw in four of these supplied hex bolts at opposite sides of the housings. So basically what I have here is this is blocked up in the in the vice, vice so that this is the lower part. This lower part is gonna be resting on here and here. And what we're gonna do is using these bolts that we threaded in earlier to gently start tapping on here to get the housings to separate. Starting to open up here. Just be very careful so we don't lose the springs. Actually, I think we're right there. Yep, that's fine. All right, before we take it apart, they're saying also you are going to want to scribe a little mark so you want the control piston housing. So you want to scribe a tiny little mark here. Look at this thing. This looks like a rocket thruster or something. Beautiful.
So we're going to remove the uh, little inline fuel filters now using this screw. So he's saying there's little filters in here. Drop it in. You do a full turn. Another filter out. They give you some uh, citric acid and all these filters we're gonna have to reuse. Hopefully I didn't mess them up. So we'll do that after. In the meantime, we'll continue disassembling this. Remove this O-ring. <laughs> 